Hey guys, it's Melissa Morrow with Vintage Bee Design, and today's video is going to be a JRV collaboration. Please check out the links to see more great videos. So before I start this makeover, I would like to take you back to where this rooster had its origins. And that was me sitting back one night watching Jamie Ray Vintage. These are completely uninjured. Hey, here's skipping through the sunflowers. He's tooting sunflowers out the back. The sunflowers up close. I'm going to paint this. I have some prairie gray. I don't think somebody bought this yet, and if it's gonna live at my house for a minute, it's gonna be prairie gray right. with white wax. Plus the color underneath is actually a really great um, highlighting color to this. Okay, I'm just waxing a chicken. Melissa Morrow is watching, she'll catch that reference. I'm we'll just waxing you know. some chickens, man. <laughs> so that was my daughter, Lily, uh, on a talk video that I personally thought was way funnier if you watched the entire video. I don't understand why it didn't do better. It is a great little video. I will put a link below. Now let's get on to this makeover. I'm gonna start off by using DIY paint in the color Vintage Linen. And basically I am gonna cover everything except for his uh, comb and I don't know, whatever those, the gobbles, whatever they're called under his chin and the flowers and his feet. While I am trying to have full coverage on this rooster and we'll do actually two coats if there is a little bit of shading from the previous painting, I'm not going to worry too much about that. And of course, I forgot to take a before photo. So here is a little video of what he looked like when I owned him. And uh, of course, I've already started painting. I will be using all DIY paint on this project. We are going to go with some Salty Kiss. And I am just gonna start on painting all of the leaves and stems of this sunflower. And again, I do want pretty good coverage. I'm actually gonna give this two full coats. Next up is layered chocolate on his little feet and his beak. And I forgot to film it, but I used fire starter for painting all of the sunflower petals. And then I'm going over them with queen bee, but you'll see I am kind of lightly going over it with queen bee, leaving edges for you to still see that orange fire starter through it. Now I'm gonna pounce just a little bit of marquee sort of around the part where the short little uh, petals meet the larger petals. And you won't see a lot of this later, but you will see some of it. The idea is to have um, a lot of depth and color in your piece. By the way, if you're enjoying this video, please be sure to hit like and subscribe and share the page. It really helps us get new followers. June is just around the corner. So I want to take this moment to remind you of creativecon.live. It is a live event that we are doing here in Jacksonville, Florida, that is going to be a creative business convention. We are going to teach you how to build your business with some amazing speakers. It's something that you don't want to miss. So go to creativecon.live, check out the event, check out the speakers, check out the subjects, and then book your ticket there because you won't want to miss out on this. And now we're going to go back over with Queen Bee and hide some of the larger parts of that. Again, we just sort of want this peeking through. This is about a layering process. Yes, I'm just too scared to settle down. There'd be many nights I got too high and almost left town. But there's something about you, something about you. I 
Now I'm just gonna touch up any little areas where I might have gone a little crazy in my painting. I took these Maker's powders literally the day I got them in order to do this project and it has taken me months to get here. Because DIY paint reactivates when it gets wet and I wanna use these Maker powders all over my sunflowers. Before using my Maker powders, I actually went ahead and liberally sprayed all of the brighter areas with Easy Peasy Spray Wax and then let it dry completely. And now I'm using it again in order to give a light wax to the surface that I am then pouncing the Maker's Powders onto. Now we're gonna do the exact same thing to our sunflower petals. This is gonna add a lot of deep, rich pigment, so they're gonna have a really bold, fresh, solid look. I wanna be sure to add some of that yellow as highlights on my leaves and my feet as well. After adding all that depth with paint and pigment, I'm gonna add just a little bit of dry brushing to have the look of sunshine that sort of fades out the color of everything. I know this seems like you're dimming everything that you just made bright, but you're not. You're actually just creating one more layer of depth. Now I just have to focus on the comb. I saw these adorable little roosters by Upcycled by Brie, and they were the inspiration for how I was gonna do this rooster's head. I painted it with marquee, and actually, I had to look up a photo to see exactly what a rooster's head looked like. After painting it all in marquee and letting that dry completely, I'm now going back over it and sparingly touching it up with vintage linen, which is the color of the rest of the rooster. I am gonna hit that beak a little bit also. You'll see I originally painted it layered chocolate and then went back and gave it a little queen bee. So it is the typical yellow that you're accustomed to seeing on a rooster beak. But that little bit of brown underneath really helps it. Apparently it's difficult for me to wet distress and hold the camera. So I apologize you can't see much here, but basically I have a wet rag and I am pulling back some of the white that we had painted over. I, it wasn't that I went too heavy on the white. It's like, if you remember Bree's little roosters, I just wanted to see a lot of that and have it feel a little more natural. And it started to look a little pink. So I actually continued with the wet distressing to take more and more of the white off while still leaving the remnants that it had once been painted white. So here's a look back at what the original piece looked like. Yes, I did actually start a little bit of the painting beforehand on this, but you can see. And I knew when I purchased this rooster that I was going to paint it. I didn't think it would take quite so long though. I love how it came out and I just keep staring at it in my living room. So tell me, what do you think about it? Do you like it better the way Jamie painted it or the way I painted it? This is not to say that I am a better artist than Jamie, just a little bit of a difference in opinion on how this style went. I bought this rooster because I loved the sunflowers. 
so I really wanted to make them pop. I'd love to hear your opinion on it, so leave a comment below, and we'll see you again next week. Thanks for joining me. Bye. Hey, as a quick reminder, this video is part of a JRV collaboration, so be sure to check the link below to see other great makers videos, possibly get somebody else you want to see uh, do some DIY.